Hello guys and welcome back to Farming Simulator 15. Now then, today, uh, well, I've done the cultivating in this field. I'm going to do this field in maize, I think. So we need to get the maize down here at some point. First thing though, I need to take this back to the yard and give it a wash as well. Um, I've also started uh, drilling, well, quite a lot of the fields actually. I've got um, one of the JCBs on at the moment drilling field with barley and we're doing field 15 with barley as pretty much 13, 14, 15 we're going to be done with barley 12 has uh, what you call it potatoes in um, 11 has barley I think pretty much down there Just I'm just going to do barley I think because effectively up here I want to do maize and wheat um, so that we can get a couple of bales out of it take them to the yard well the dairy and hopefully that should be pretty good after that um, but I'm hoping for a large amount of bales actually and then the maize there for silage uh, that Pretty much a lot of that will be taken to uh, the biogas plant. Is it the biogas plant? Uh, yeah, biogas power. And that will just pretty much there. That will be the stuff we sell. But I am going to hopefully fill up a clamp at the dairy just to use it as food because there's nothing in there. No food whatsoever for the cattle. Uh, so. Yeah, pretty annoying. Uh, and I didn't even manage to use all them bales up to get a week's worth of food for them. So, gonna need quite a lot of bales, and I'm probably gonna end up keeping them at, up at Yetton Ridge Farm, I think. But don't go up there, so I can, I'll have a lot of bales up there. I mean, like low like around this area, possibly in field six and five around there. Maybe a bit laggy, but uh, hopefully not as bad as we have at Chantry Farm. Because I mean, that is really quite bad there. Now, I am possibly going to sell the two trucks that we have. Um, because, oh well, one of them at least. I'm going to have one of them for like the road use. Um, so that would be the man that I use for the road. And I'm going to buy one of the ones from the gold edition. Now that, pretty much, well, Tatra, um, it's got a bit more off-road like tyres. Um, for example, that man has more road-like tyres on it. Which is quite, I don't know, a bit unrealistic if you're going through the field. Um, so pretty much that's the reason why I'm doing that. Plus, at the moment, um, I have an idea. I downloaded this mod pack for some feeder wagons, and pretty much they're a lot bigger than the original. I mean, the original one that comes with the game, 18,000 liters. See here, 28 and a maximum of 42. So it's pretty, uh, I'm thinking about that for this yard. The only thing is height. I'm going to get the 28,000 litre one because I'm pretty sure that, that sh well, it should fit in. Um, so, buy that. If it doesn't fit, I'm just going to have to sell it. Um, but I am keeping the smaller one just in case that, well, this bigger one doesn't fit. And then I, so I've still got that one. So, there it is. Pretty much the only reason why I'm getting this is because bigger capacity. So, whereas the little baler that we used to have, not baler, sorry. And for example, the little mixer wagon that we used to have, I think four or five bales. And this one should hopefully fit well, a lot more than that, it's possibly uh, ten or something. Um, pretty much because I needed a bit of a bigger capacity need front weight on this. A uh, big capacity for well feeding pretty much. It 
it was taking too long do five bales have to get out again load it up um, so pretty much use this hopefully we won't have to use as much well we won't use as much time also I'm gonna have to bring that new Holland back down because there the muck he is gonna be replenished quite a lot um, when I go down there in a second you will see that they've been busy <laughs> I forgot I had the fast track down here as well pretty sure actually For the looks of where that fast track is I don't think I have the old mixer wagon actually I'm certain I sold it actually now did I? yep um, what does that mean I have another mixer wagon? no I don't so we're going to have that's good. So, I forgot I had that JCB there. The height, you see, beacon. Ah, yes. Ah, good. That's pretty good, actually. I'm happy with that. Indicators. Got good. Hazards. Reversing lights, does it? Yes, it does. It's a rather nice mod, I think. What's it like for... It's effectively you got... Oh, it's quite good actually. So that will be parked in that shed. As you can see, need a couple more bales, I think. I'm thinking actually, probably going to bring that crone down here. And a couple of trailers. Do a bit of silage, put it in that clamp, get uh, sorry, out of the fields, out of the grass fields, probably do that now actually, if I've got the other two drilling. Um, hmm. Oh, that should have been drilling, but oh well. That is the correct button. Oh, not yet. So, pretty much, I've also got this one doing wheat. Um, so, I have a mixed harvest, I think. Quite good. Um, I was thinking it'd be that field I do. Yes. Um. Where is my crone? It's here somewhere. There. I knew I'd put it somewhere so utterly stupid. Oh, I need them tractors up here anyway. Um, I will in fact stop recording here and start recording when I've got all the equipment down where I need it and all this kind of stuff moved so I can get to it. So I'll be back in a second. So then guys, I am back and pretty much got the equipment here and I've also got a new tractor because I noticed I don't have enough tractors to pull the header trailer and this one does it quite nicely not too big and it's right I reckon it's right size for pulling that not well, doesn't really struggle so I reckon that's quite good bit low to the ground though I well three point hitch at the front quite low and that's like in the raised position it's really quite low when it is down. And I'll show you now. It's down, that front weight pretty much scrapes along the ground. Um, but anyway, got the equipment here. I need to jump into the crone and we'll get the header swap on this and sorted. I did bring both of the well, Hulk, well, silage trailers with me, so I didn't know how much I needed them. Um, I'm hoping I'll use them quite a bit. Um, but I'm in fact going to set up a course play for load at start now. What is it? Empty combine and offload. That's what I want. 
hang on. Start course recording. Because this is pretty much all I'm going to get it to do. Anyway, it's just follow me round. Put it into that first clamp. Pause there, get forward. And that'll pretty much just go straight back into the field, ready for the next load. No, I don't know how I'm going to well, quite get this to work with having two trailers, but oh well. So save this as silage. I'll just put that, change it later. Just combine them on. Crone, yep. Start at zero, drive on at 100. Speeds, yeah, put beacons on. Weight point, that's the next thing I need. Where is it? <coughs> there. Uh, 10 seconds. I don't know what we. Minute. Minute and a half. Get that to sort itself out. to go actually. So what is this silage? That's all I need. What do you mean it's slipping? Effectively it's already broken itself. annoying actually. I don't know where it thinks it is. Right, I can also move this out of the field. And that's stuck as well. Oh well, I'll just use the JCB for now, I think. I really don't like that trailer. Always get stuck. Stop the driver. First waypoint, that's. <laughs> as soon as that next one's back, I'll set this off. set that up to what it should have been. Yep, 
Yeah, 138. you think you're doing? What's it wanting to do? Now this is when I really do not like cosplay. Yeah, I've had enough of cosplay, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Um, hmm. Better stick it and follow me. Let's go. Pretty much, I'm just going to go around, see how full I can get the trailers. Attempt to do all of it. It probably would take a while. So, I mean, if I can do all of it, it'd be quite good. Probably end up doing a lot of this off screen, actually. We'll bring that thing forward a bit, and that should make it better. Now what's that? Nineteen percent. I reckon we could get that quite full actually. I hope we can anyway. I mean cattle do need quite a lot of food. Water, I think they're running low on, need to do that. Um sheep, I reckon they're okay actually, because I've read not that sorry, fed uh, the rest of it to them. And then on the inspector model I read there that productivity was at hundred percent, so that was okay. Cows only eighty probably need to be mapped out or something. So forty percent could be better. Could be worse. It's quite a small fart yard, actually. That I think could do with something a tiny bit better, a bit bigger, a bit more machinery storage was what I would like. And I may actually I'll cultivate off a whole area of this field. Um, and effectively, I'll make it like the dirt track I had in the other field over there and put a couple of sheds on I think that would be quite good especially for the feeding equipment as well because that takes up a lot of space it's not just like the mixer wagon and that, it's all of the grabs and that you know, bale spikes, buckets uh, what they call conveyor belts it does take up a fair amount of space probably will end up getting rid of one of them con conveyor belts anyway so I've got two of them, I only used one at one time when I was doing muck spreading because it was faster to load the manure muck spreader and the manure trailer thing that I used I will in fact start using these trailers for moving manure as well. Probably set up a course spray or something if I can. Um, let's get it a bit done a bit quicker. It's effective that I could just be in the loader and my and JCB loading it up and they could just be off.
what's that? That's 70, oh, sorry, 80%. I'd say 70 something, but no. Possibly we'll actually put that on the left, sorry, on the right hand side. I think it'd make it a lot easier so it doesn't like, get caught up where I want to go because it will get a lot tighter around the corners soon. Just follow them in tyre marks and it's be a bit more over to the left of them tyre marks actually to get it properly. So at 94, we keep an eye on that. So I usually end up going over. Seven. Even if it's not bang on 100%, right, when I'm inside the tractor, it'd still be good enough. Straighten up there, I think, and then reverse. That will try get into that clamp, I think. Good if I could. Go around the tree. Get back going. And I should have tipped that then, but it usually, in fact, wants to do a thingy, like a pre run of it, before it starts doing it properly. Oh well. Wait there for two seconds. I'm moving chaff. Drive the course, so we'll have to watch that in fact. Stop the driver. Slightly slower than what I was, but in a way that's good. I'm quite to watch that. I really hope it does reverse properly. No. Please do it. A bit wider than what I did actually, so that that's good. Oh, stop! 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 What am I transporting? Please select. What is this doing then? Is this... So... Oh gee. There we go. I 
to fill out quite nicely. Possibly actually just have that tractor running. I don't know. I'm gonna do a bit off screen in fact. If I try to get the majority of that op done off screen, I think. nice amount of this done fairly soon I think alright so I'm going to stop recording here guys uh, it's the end of the episode so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video as it really does help and I'll see you next time goodbye, quick note tomorrow will be Aussie Farms so like I said thanks for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye